We're really grateful to have Dr. Asari here. He's one of the great, if not the greatest healer um, on the continent. And uh, I'm really blessed to have him as a, not only a friend, but as a brother. And it's almost impossible to be sick around this man. He has a lot of good stuff to, to keep us alive. And you know, that's what investment is all about. Uh, my name is David Diwara. Um, I'm the CEO of Opportunities in Africa, and yes, Organic Farm. Um, you see, as a saying, if you're going to talk about investment, you must show what you've done already. Um, because it's important that we set an example, especially for the youth, those of us that's over 25. I've been blessed to invest in, in, in what I call the, the primary investment, which is land, owning some land, growing food, returning to nature, which is God, and overcoming the challenges that we face today of importing $35 billion worth of food into Africa. So the land that I've invested in is sacred because we are being bombarded with genetically modified scientific concoctions that's killing us, soft. So that's one of the contributions that I've made as an example. If I can do it, you can do it. I, can, I wake up in the morning with the sounds of the birds and I look out and I see big trees with bird nests and no noise. And I say, this is heaven. So if I can live in heaven, you can live in heaven on earth. And I'm also thankful to be working with a brother. And I'm going to call him up to say a few words. Because this is our 11th year of Umani, or is it 12? Uh, 12 strong years since I've known you, but uh, it's the 11th year we've done a conference, but we started doing it in uh, October 2007. So let's give Bumani a round of applause for us. And 2019 is the year of return, and truly you're part of the return. This is a special group. Yeah. Give yourself a round of applause for being here in 2019. We have major victories that we got um, this year. As you know, we have been lobbying the Ghana government for citizenship for Africans in the diaspora. And the Ghana government um, has started the process of giving citizenship to diaspora. And this year we're expecting um, at least 250 more citizenship to be given. And then every year we hope to add it on and on and on. Also, Brother Bumani has been very <clears throat> successful this year in helping to bring over people to invest in Garvey Town Project, which is a 300-acre land in the central region. <clears throat> so that's a major victory for Africa, for the Africans. Sure. So let's give him a round of applause for helping our people to come home and get land reasonable. Reasonable, because there's no reason why we should have to pay so much, you know, above what we, we know is, is reasonable. I do not believe that we should come home and expect land to be given to us free, even though we own the land. I think we need to at least pay our brothers and sisters some compensation for at least taking care of the land since we've been gone for 400 years. So they have been taking care of the land, fighting off, you know, the vampires as best they could. But we're here to help them. So I'd like to bring Brother Bumani up to say a few words about um, Africa for the Africans and what he do. And thank him for all the good work that he's been doing. Brother Bumani, please come.